Welcome into a bonus episode here in Hockey Inside Out. Andrew, Rick, and Stu. We're going to break down the talk from Nick Caprios that Jeff Gortzen could be looking at other GM jobs that are going to be made available in the coming months here. Guys, where do we see this with Jeff Gortzen? Will he still be in the same position with the Canadians or elsewhere by the summertime? Well, it's interesting. I mean, Nick Caprios played in the NHL a long time. He knows a lot of people around the NHL. I don't think he just pulled this out of thin air and made this up. Having said that, Maybe he was talking with somebody who knew Gorton and maybe Gorton said, you know, I, I miss the activity of being a GM and sort of the hands-on thing. And maybe that got, you know, played into that he's not happy in Montreal. I mean, who knows? I mean, I don't know who Nick Kiprios' sources are for this or what it is. The one thing that makes it interesting to me is when I had my one-on-one interview with Jeff Molson last week and I asked him about his sort of stepping back from hockey operations when he brought in Gorton. And Molson corrected me and said, no, I'm not any more or less involved in hockey operations now than I was before. It's just we have two other guys and Kent Hughes and Jeff Gorton discuss things together and then they come to me. And so when I heard the Kiprios thing, I was wondering if maybe Gorton's thinking, that's not really what I, I thought I was coming in here to run hockey operations, not having to run everything I do by the owner. And I'm just spec- like, I don't know if that's the case. I'm just like trying to put pieces together here with Kiprios coming up for this and why Gorton might want to move on and we did sign a five-year contract and they're into the rebuild and you'd think he'd want to see it through so is it possible yeah I mean as I said I don't think Nick Kippers just pulled this out of thin air and made it up but it might have been a sort of he said he said an overheard conversation it might have just been Gordon saying to somebody you know I miss the day-to-day activities of being a GM this is a different thing for me not meaning that he wants to leave but just he misses the day-to-day so you know we'll see how it plays out but um, I don't put a lot of weight into it but again, I just sort of that when, when Molson saying that he's still sort of involved in hockey operations, maybe that's something that Jeff Gorton figured when he was brought in. Jeff Molson was basically going to stay in his office and worry about the business part of the Canadians and leave all the hockey stuff to him. And it doesn't seem like that's the case. I mean, you know, like you said, uh, Stu, maybe he misses the actual GM uh, responsibilities. And, you know, that's, that's what he did. And obviously he was good at it. And now I and I and I look and I we don't see much of him uh, in the mm-hmm. public eye. He's always you know we'll see a picture of him uh, you know up in the stands. Uh, we don't we don't see and obviously we don't hear a lot from him. And I don't know if the obviously the main spokesman with Ken Hughes with the French English thing, Ken Gordon uh, or uh, Jeff Gordon you know obviously doesn't have that ability to converse in French. I don't know if that becomes an issue for him. Uh, when it comes down to, you know, his involvement. But uh, the, the bottom line here is it, it's speculation, it's rumor. Um, you know, he's, uh, he, he's the kind of guy that uh, his experience is one of, of a GM, and I don't know uh, if, you know, the opportunity is going to present itself for him to, uh, to maybe get back into it. And that's, uh, that's going to be interesting down the road. But, uh, you know, right now, obviously, under contract, uh, doing what he does. Uh, I've, I've met him a few times. Uh, seems like a real straight shooter. So if anything's going to happen, uh, I'm, I'm quite sure he'll come forward and, and the organization will make the statement because uh, they're, they're, they're hiding nothing uh, if they can. And, you know, if changes are going to be made, uh, we'll hear about it. Yeah, I mean, from my understanding of what Kiprios actually wrote, it, it was like the combination of there's a possibility Jeff Gorton might be a little bit bored in his uh, in his role, and there'll be positions available, and you know he'll be in high demand. But at the same time, I look at what Jeff Gorton could have done after leaving the New York Rangers, and he could have been a GM somewhere else. Uh, there there were jobs available. He could have gone to the Ducks, mm-hmm. for example. Uh, there were places that he could have gone. So I I feel like he was the one who brought in Kent Hughes, right? So he's set the table for what's going on in Montreal. He has the job that he, I'm assuming, wanted. Now, it may be slightly different now that Hughes is in control and a year into it than what he thought it was going to be, but I'd be pretty surprised if there were any major moves this early on because Gorton like went in so like he put his hands right in the dirt, right? As soon as he got in, he was up to his elbows in trying to fix everything, right? The ship, it would be a little bit surprising to see him move on considering his other stops in the NHL have been significant. He hasn't jumped ship on anybody really. Right. So 
it, it would be a, a bit of a shock. I, I, I don't think we're going to see it happen at least this year. Uh, maybe sometime in the future when the Canadians can find a way to, to, to make him happy or he needs to move on somewhere else. But uh, I'd, I'd be pretty surprised if this ended up happening. I think this is more of a speculation based on maybe a, a conversation with somebody that maybe is being overblown right now. I'm not saying that Kiprios is making it up, just like uh, what Stu mm-hmm. said. It's not something that uh, he would make up, and Kiprios has some pretty good sources in the NHL. Mm-hmm. But I, I think this is something, maybe it'll be the same thing as when uh, Kiprios uh, reported that Shea Weber was too injured to continue playing, and it was true uh, three <laughs> years was, later. Yeah, well, Gordon, it was shocking when Gordon got fired in New York. Uh, you know, he did mm-hmm. a good job with the, with the rebuild there. If Gordon was bilingual, he'd probably be GM of the Canadians. I mean, you know, Jeff Molson has made it very clear that his GM has to speak English and French, and the same with his head coach. And during the one-on-one interview I had with him, I asked him about, you know, bringing in a, a GM with no experience in the position in Montreal market and Kent Hughes, and he said that was sort of part of the plan. They didn't need a GM with experience because they already had Jeff Gorton with experience in Boston and with the Rangers. So it was sort of somebody that could be learn under – Jeff Gorton and somebody who also got along with him because Jeff Gorton and, and Kent Hughes, as although as you know, Gorton said at his first news conference, uh, he's not my best friend. You wouldn't want my best friends running the Canadians. It's sort of a good line, but they're friendly and and they're friend. The same thing with with uh, uh, Marty Saint Louis. But I mean, as I said, if, if Gorton was bilingual, he probably would have been the GM. But Molson realized he had to have a, uh, a general manager who could speak French, and that's part of the quality. So that's why you know Gorton is taking French lessons. Molson told me, but um, no, I don't think his French will ever be good enough to be GM of the Canadians. But uh, again, uh, Andrew, as you said, I think it's it's conversations heard around guys around the NHL speak. Uh, Nick Kiprios knows a lot of people, and as I started off, and as you said, I don't think he just made the, he didn't make this up just out of thin air to throw it out there. He, he heard some things, rumblings about it, and he put it out there, and you know, we're talking about him now, right? Uh, very quickly, think, sorry, go ahead, Rick. So, so no, I was just going to say, you know, uh, Jeff Gorton, he had probably had opportunities uh, for other GM jobs before he came to Montreal, and I'm telling you, uh, you have to be fortunate if you can go into an environment where you've got good people, they've got your back, and uh, you're you're on the same page. And he obviously felt that with Ken, uh, you know, with who was going to arrive in uh, as the GM with Ken Hughes and Jeff Molson with their reputation, uh, one of being uh, good good people with their heart in the right place, and you know that basically uh, gave him the uh, they gave them the opportunity and. Uh, you know what the future holds uh, is still uh, is still up in the air, but it's so critical to have uh, upper management uh, that are able to find a way, not get along all the time, but uh, their heart is in the right place and they're, they're driven to try and you know make the difference in the decisions that they make as good ones. And again, uh, you're just guys. over a year into a five-year contract, so it's not like Jeff Molson is going to say, "Oh yeah, go." No. <laughs> They don't, you know, don't worry about the contract. Go wherever you want. So there's, there's a lot of things involved in this. How big of a loss would it be if Gorton took a GM job this summer to the rebuild process for Ken Hughes quickly, guys? Um, I think Ken, uh, Hughes has slipped, fit in very well into the GM role, it seems. But there's a lot more involved in this rebuild. I mean, you know, the analytics department they're building, they're doing, there's a whole lot of stuff that, behind the scenes, not the trades and whatnot. So that's the stuff that, uh, you know, Gorton's been in charge of is building the analytics department and improving the scouting department, all this other stuff that doesn't involve trades or the day-to-day running of the hockey team. Well, we'll find out if Jeff Gorton will still be in his job. We think he will be still there. You know, it's a rebuild, right? You want him to be there part of the process and be uh, a man along with Ken Hughes to lead this team back to uh, promise in the next couple of years. We'll find out. Don't forget to make questions and comments here at Hockey Inside Out. We look forward to conversing about that in a future episode. And check out the YouTube page for Hockey Inside Out. And for the newsletter, head on by MontrealGazette.com slash newsletters. And for the full episode of bonus content, head on by Hockey Inside Out. On behalf of Rick, Stu, and Andrew, wish you a great week. We'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.